Hey there, it's Becky with the Dorky Thrifters, and I'm going to do another What Sold on eBay video here for you. So I'm still trying to get caught up, so it is now in June, but I'm going to go back and do the first half of April. So this is my sales um, for the first half of April. Now I had a whole lot of eyeglasses this period because I had an eyeglass sale, so I'm only going to show you the really good ones and try to show you some that I haven't showed you before, some different brands. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all the eyeglasses first and then I'll do the other things at the end, towards the end of the video. Alright, so here's my spreadsheet for the month of April, the first half of April, for these 23 items that I'm going to show you. My total cost on these items was $64 plus a little bit of sales tax. They sold for $709. I collected $142 shipping and handling. Um, shipping and handling labels actually cost me $121. So after the PayPal fees and eBay fees taken off, I came out a little tiny bit ahead on the shipping. My eBay fees were $73.88. I did have one Bonanza sale that I'm going to show you. So my fees there were $3.63. My PayPal fees were $31.29, so my profit was $542.65 for these 23 items. Alright, so this first pair of eyeglasses is DKNY. Find my notes here so I can tell you what I paid for them and what my profit was. I did take notes on that somewhere. Haha. Okay, so DKNY eyeglasses. I spent four dollars for these eyeglasses. They sold for twenty-five fifteen on sale, so my profit was sixteen seventy-seven. This is a pair of Revlon eyeglasses. These sold for twenty-seven dollars on sale. I paid five dollars for them, so my profit was eighteen dollars and sixteen cents. All right, and this is a pair of Calvin Klein. And by the way, these are all prescription eyeglasses that I'm showing you here. These are prescription eyeglasses that I buy at thrift stores and things and um, clean them up and resell them for the frames, not for the lenses. So I don't know what the prescription is in them, so I just advertise them as frames, you know, for the frames only and that they will have to replace the lenses with their own prescription. But anyways, this pair of Calvin Klein eyeglasses I paid $3 for them, they sold for $27 on sale, and my profit was $20.31. And here's a pair of Perry Ellis prescription eyeglasses. These I paid $2 for. And there's Perry Ellis on the side. All right there. So these I paid $2 for. They sold for $28.75 on sale, so my profit was $22.43. And this is a pair of Izod. These are prescription sunglasses. I paid $3 for these. And they sold for $22.45 on sale. So my profit was $16.34. Here is a pair of Valentino prescription eyeglasses. These I also paid $3 for. And they sold on sale for $27. So my profit was $20.31. Here is a pair of Polo Ralph Lauren's. I paid $2 for these. They did have the Polo nose pieces, so I just cleaned them and put them back on, even though they were kind of yellow. So these I paid $2 for, and they sold for $25.15 on sale. So my profit was $20.87. And this is a pair of Ray-Ban prescription eyeglasses. These were Ray-Ban Wayfarers. Um, a little tiny bit different than the sunglasses as far as um, how they're made and the markings and everything. But I paid $1.50 for these, including the case and the little towel. 
and they sold for fifty dollars um, somebody messaged me and made me an offer for fifty dollars so I took it so my profit on these after all fees and costs was forty three dollars and thirty cents and this is a pair of road and stock paid two dollars and fifty cents for these I had a case to match and these sold for thirty six dollars so my profit was twenty nine eighty five all right this is a pair of Armani exchange prescription eyeglasses these we paid three dollars for at a thrift store and they sold for $22.45 on sale, so my profit was $16.34. This is a pair of Versace. I paid $3 for these. I had a case to match as well. They sold for $49.45, and they weren't in the absolute best condition. These little things were missing here. Or not, yeah, one of them was missing, and one of them was just kind of gross. But they still sold on sale for $49.45, so my profit was $34.14. And then the last pair of eyeglasses is this pair of Fossil prescription eyeglasses. These I paid $1.75 for, and they sold for $40.45 on sale, so my profit was $33.54. Okay. So let's get into the other items and then I'll show you one more pair of eyeglasses at the end that I sold on Bonanza. Okay, so this is a rough weather doggy door. It was brand new in the box, never opened, still stapled shut and everything. So I did not open it. I just sold it like that. Um, I paid $7.50 for this at the thrift store. And it sold for $50 plus shipping, so my profit was $33.67. Alright, this is a zippered, a vintage zippered Bible. I paid $3 for this. So you can see the zipper there. Um, it was in really nice condition for as old as it was. And I sold it for $30 plus shipping, so my profit was $22.25. And then here is another vintage Bible that sold. This is a 1964 Bible. Um, just a holy Bible by the American Bible Society. did have an inscription in it. Um, but other than that, it was in nice condition. I paid $2.50 for this. It sold for $30.00. So my profit was $24.09. And this is a Bruntmore Dippin' Stainless Steel Chip Dish. It looked like that. It was really cool. It was in the box. Um, let's see. So I paid $4 for this bowl at the thrift store. And it sold for $42. So my profit was $29.83. This is an Auric Vacuum. It's one of those handheld canister models. Um, I sell these a lot. They're really good sellers. Um, there you can kind of see the model number. This one I paid five dollars for at an estate auction and it did have some attachments and things. Um, it sold for forty dollars so my profit was thirty three dollars and thirty eight cents. Oh, here's a pair of eyeglasses that I missed earlier. <laughs> this is a pair of Silver Dollar. They sold, I paid $2.50 for these. They sold on sale for $26.95, so my profit was $17.21 on those. Okay, so this is a antique lampshade, glass lampshade with brass flowers on it. This item I found at a thrift store. Let's see, I paid four dollars for this. Um, <laughs> I this item had the most watchers I've ever seen on one of my items. I think it had like thirty some watchers, maybe something like that. It had a lot. Um, 
and I had it priced at twenty nine ninety five, and I had all these watchers and all these views, but nobody was buying it. So I actually raised it up a couple dollars just for fun and just to see what would happen. And then it sold within a day or two after raising it up. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it or if just the right person came along and saw it. But I sold for $33. So my profit was $28.22 on this rare lampshade. Very cool. And it wasn't very big. It was very small. Um, I don't have a really good picture where you can see. Well, there you can see it's in my hand. So it wasn't very big. Just a little guy. All right, here's some more of that um, depression glass that sold. Um, this glass ice bucket sold for $15 plus shipping, so my profit was $10.43. And like I said in my last video, I had a whole lot, like 40, more than 40 pieces of this stuff that I bought in an estate auction, and I just had a few pieces left, so I lowered them way down, just trying to get rid of them. So I sold this one, and then I also sold a set of five soup bowls for $15 as well. This is the same pattern called Beverly. And I just sold my last pieces of this um, just a few days ago. So they are all gone now. I have no more of this stuff. I'm so glad because I've had it for a couple of years. I've been trying to sell all this stuff. So I'm glad to finally be rid of it all. Um, these sold for $15, like I said, the soup bowls and the saucers. So my profit was $13.16 on this set. And then, last but not least, is a pair of Southwest salt and pepper shakers that I found at a thrift store for $1.50. They sold for $20. So my profit was $14.04. And then I had one sale on Bonanza to show you, and this is a pair of Banana Republic prescription eyeglass frames, and this is Bonanza. Um, if you don't know, from, if you aren't familiar with Bonanza, or you're interested in learning more about Bonanza, I do have a video about Bonanza. Um, it's really nice, actually. I, I don't make a lot of sales on Bonanza, but there, it's really no work because they import my eBay listings automatically. And so it's really no extra work and every once in a while I make a sale. So this pair of Banana Republic, I paid $3 for at a thrift store. They sold for $27.95 plus shipping, so my profit was $24.02. Okay, so that's all the items I have to show you in this video. Um, I will get another one posted here pretty soon, hopefully. So check below the videos in this description section right here for more information. Um, you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Pinterest, Instagram, Snapchat, and then this is my Amazon affiliate link. If you're going to use, if you're going to be shopping on Amazon at all, if you could use this link, I'd really appreciate it. It gives me a little bit of a kickback, and that helps. All right, so that's all the, the items I have to show you right now. I'm going to get this posted, then I'll have some more of this type of video coming pretty soon. So please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. That way you'll get notifications and updates and things when I have new videos available. So I hope these videos are helpful, and I really appreciate everybody watching them. So thank you for watching. Until next time, take care.